fished off Herne Bay Pier when I was about seven or eight years of age. And um, I, I remember the last year that it was actually open in 1968, we had up to about 45,000 anglers actually fished on that pier. All the businesses, they have pictures of Herne Bay, uh, you know, 1920s, 1930s, 40s, 50s. And mainly these pictures are of the old pier. And what I've noticed is people my age, they are fascinated by these pictures. And it's just a shame we've never seen it. The Pier Trust's mission is reclaim, regenerate, rebuild. And we believe that the pier is fundamental to the success and future of the town. We need our pier back to thrive and prosper in the way that we did in the past when the pier was here. And it's not just for us and for our generation, it's for our children and our grandchildren. The Trust works with the Council under a Memorandum of Understanding and it is our aim to reclaim the pier on behalf of the people of Hearn Bay. We set up this fantastic opportunity here called the Hearn Bay Pier Trust Gallery since Easter and uh, it's been a fantastic success. It's been embraced by the community. We uh, have an identity now in Hearn Bay which we didn't have before. It's manned by volunteers who are members and from there we've been able to roll out a fantastic signal to the community about what we're trying to do. One thing that's working extremely well is the awareness that the Peer Trust are actually creating by gaining more members. We have the Peer Trust Gallery with the can recycling etc. People are actually getting involved and they know what they're actually supporting and I think that's vitally important. One of the important developments for Herne Bay Pier Trust this year has been the connections that we have built with local businesses within the town and their support has been very encouraging. As a charity we've certainly achieved a lot with the support in kind and, and the funding that we've received to date. However, we certainly need to step up a gear and uh, professionalise uh, our fundraising approach in order to attract larger pots of money to achieve our objectives of regenerating and rebuilding the Herne Bay Pier. This is a fantastic time for the pier and for the whole of Herne Bay because with the sports hall coming down it means that everyone will be focusing again on the pier and, and what's actually happening to it and they'll be thinking about right and so what's going to happen next and how can we be involved and what can we do and so hopefully people will be coming forward with more ideas about what they want to see for their pier and we can take all those ideas and build the best pier that we possibly can for Herne Bay. Change is very sad sometimes, but it is also an opportunity to, to try something new. Um, the space upon the pier, once the building's gone, will be you know, a, a huge area for us to use with events. It could be a really exciting chance to do something new. And with such a spectacular backdrop of the coast as well. There's a complete revival in the beach. All up and down the country, people are going to the beaches and they're probably shelving their holidays abroad and enjoying their time on the beach in their own country now. And there's probably a million or so people just desperate to come down here if they knew that we were here. We've been working very hard during the last year or so to develop a viable business plan for the pier. And we've been seeking the advice of world-renowned experts on what sort of development we could have, how we can regenerate the pier and how we can reinvigorate the town. And we're certainly looking to make sure that we include good employment opportunities and a long-term viable future for Herne Bay. Our legacy for really the next generation is quite a responsibility in terms of Herne Bay Peer Trust because there is no point in passing a legacy to the next generation that is unsustainable. So our view is to build an asset rather than a liability. And the only way we can actually do that is by creating a business model that is sustainable for the future. Well, for next year, we're putting together a programme of events for the summer, starting off with um, a celebration for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in June and running right through Olympic year up until the end of the summer season. Um, those events will be very much community-based. They'll be to bring people who live in the town back down to the seafront, onto the pier to enjoy it again. We have come down from uh, Romford to see the beach and my friends have recommended that this is a very good place here. So we came to enjoy the beach and the sea. The sea is a creation of God and uh, that's why that makes me very happy. You've only got to look at Deer Pier to see how popular it is for fishermen and tourists and residents even walking up and down enjoying the sea views and just being by the sea. 
The best things I like about Mumbai are the pier, mini golf, the ice cream shop and the arcade. We just adore it here. We often walk, we park over there and walk right down to the far end and then come back, have fish and chips or whatever grabs our fancy to do, basically. Um, wouldn't swap it for the world, no. A pier is an attraction in its own right. We used to have a great pier and we could have a great pier again and I really hope we do. We deserve it.